Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing Population Growing Part 187. Yesterday, we didn't do much actually. Well, we thinned out the town a bit, and then afterwards I thinned out the town a lot more, and I donated a lot of fossils, and it's really awesome. So we got a lot of great things coming over the next few days, and I made the town a lot better overall. My dear Cyber, you've been through a lot and had a hard go of it sometimes, but you've always done your best. It's all you can do just once. I wish someone would tell me that, watching a lot of TV, Mom. Don't watch TV, ever. First of all, this made me sad. It's not fair. Everyone else got to see the fireworks, but no, not me. I had to work. Why? It's not like anyone came in anyway. This place was deserted. <clears throat> I think that's from Phyllis, and I feel really, really bad for her. But I did rearrange the entire house. Look at it. It's so nice. It's so nice. And I feel like this isn't centered enough, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. Let's see. We'll move it this way. I don't know, this way it'll be in the middle of the room, but... Wait. This part right here is always so hard. Oh, great, my pockets are full. How lovely. Um... We have a lot to do today on Cyber, actually, so... <clears throat> We're gonna move this over. This, the layout of the room will change again, for sure, but I... For now, this is what it's gonna be. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know why my voice is so hoarse right now. I, like, literally just drank a bottle of water and had ice cream. But, oh, I have exciting news today. Like, I actually... Oh, are you serious? I missed the town tune. Really? That was, like, something I wanted to show off. We missed it. It's so short. But I'm glad it's raining today, actually. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like with the lights on. The basement, I literally can't get down into it anymore, and I'm gonna work on that. But this is it for now. <laughs> but then, here, we're gonna go up to the blue room, because, um, I wanted to show off all the balloons. Balloons! They're just sort of gonna stay here for now. Um, I put a balloon back there, too. But, yeah, I, I added another blue vase, and I think I want to remove that at some point, but I don't know, it just fit, and I didn't have anything else, and I also added that blue bench. But, yeah. But, hey, I have... Fun news today, like, I actually went to the movies with a friend, and we saw Monsters University, and it was really, really awesome, and it was so cute. I love it so much, and they didn't, like, ruin Monsters, Inc. with a sequel. They made it, like, really awesome, and cute, and better, and I'm very pleased with it. It was just such a good movie, oh my gosh. But, uh, we have a lot to do today actually. So I'm I'm going to start off with like getting rid of some stuff in our pockets. Um we're going to go to the museum and donate this painting and this bug which I've had in my inventory for like literally a week, I'm pretty sure. Sorry. Also, I destroyed the flowers in Leopold's area and I didn't mean to and I feel very upset about it, but it happened. So I also plan to take another trip to the island very soon and I think we will be going to a different town tomorrow. Um, oh, we have to try, or test out the bottle rocket, too, so that'll be fun. Hooty hoo This is a scary painting. The original in all its glory. I've only seen reproductions until now, and I must say, it's always stuck in my craw. Words fail me truly. I suppose all one can honestly say is that it's a scary painting. I don't think it's very scary, but okay. Take this flat stag beetle from us. Oh, we already donated the flat stag beetle. Don't call me my dear. <laughs> please don't do that, Blathers. Don't make things uncomfortable. I love you, but please don't do that. You are an owl. Okay, please then return it to us and let us be on our way to go look at our scary painting. No. It, look at him, now he's saying our collection's coming along rather nicely, that's so great. Where's the scary painting? There it is. Scary painting. All our paintings in their glory. Even though we don't have many of them. How many do we need left? I think that's seven that we need left now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven. Alright, well, let's go sell the beetle then. And we're also going to plant coconut trees today and hope they will not disappear. And I'm even going to look up a tutorial for it because I'm so awful and cannot 
plant a coconut tree to save my life. It's never worked for me, ever. I've never gotten a coconut tree to grow. But I've never... One day sale, today only. Well... Did I throw away my letter from Nook? When's the sale? I'm so confused. When is the sale? You didn't even post about it on the bulletin board. This is the bulletin ad I wrote about, or wrote from Alyssa. It made me laugh. Ooh, a modern cabinet in one of the two acres. It's probably gone by now, but I... What do you mean one day sale? I don't know... <sighs> is it like after seven or something? I don't know when it is. I really wanted to sell things today, and I have no inventory. Which is upsetting. I feel like that's some bug that we haven't caught yet, so... I don't know, though. It might not be. Yeah, it's just a cockroach. It looks so different on trees than they do regularly. But okay, let's let's go look up a coconut tree tutorial while I get down to the beach. Let's see if I can get down to the beach without looking. Alright. Um... How to plant cocoa, no, nuts. Okay, yeah, how, how to plant coconut trees in Animal Crossing. That's actually a search result, ha. Huh? And I don't want city folk or wild world. I want Animal Crossing population growing. Um, palm, Animal Crossing wiki. This will probably- Oh, a camper! Finally, look! We have a camper again! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's Vesta! I love Vesta. No, you're not. They really should have a campground here. Hi, Vesta. I love you. I really do love Vesta. She's so cute. Um... I don't want them in Animal Crossing City Folk. I want them in Animal Crossing population growing because I do not know where to plant them. I don't know, it looks like they're on the grass there though, so why don't I try planting them on the grass, even though... Okay, let's see. Animal Crossing GameCube. Um... I'm very upset. No, I don't want Wild World. Stop giving me Wild World. I just want coconut trees. This is very upsetting for me. Like, legitimately upsetting, because I just want to figure out how to plant coconut trees. Um, that's a drone beetle or something. Let's talk to Sable. That's not a coelacanth, so I do not care about it. I feel like Sable might tell us a story today. Okay, guess not. Um, let's go talk to the wishing well, actually, and then I'll look up how to plant coconut trees. And I should probably get to the Animal Crossing guide that I use for the wishing well, because I have a feeling he'll say, he'll say something different today. Okay. Wishing well. There we go. Alright. Oh, right, one acre up. <laughs> what does he say? Please be nice to us. All right, here we go. What errand have you at the wishing well? How are things? In areas where there is very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to acre D5. Really, D5? To be fair, I actually put a lot of, um... I actually cut down a lot of trees in D5, so... I can understand that. I can deal with that. I'm gonna cut down another one, because... I didn't... For whatever reason, I didn't cut down the, the second orange tree, and that second orange tree has always bugged me. Like, I don't know why I didn't do that. I Maybe I did and I'm forgetting, but... Yeah, no, I didn't. Why would I not? But, ooh, there's a cicada on the tree, so we will catch the tree. Really? Okay, well, that's the disappointment tree, so that's the one that's going. And I actually can't plant any trees today, you know, obviously. Because the shop is not open. For whatever reason. And I just want to, like get fossils and be productive today, but it's not open. And I don't know why. 
I'm just gonna eat the oranges. I don't want to plant them anywhere else. I feel like we have enough orange trees, plus oranges make me angry. Yay! Okay, second orange. I don't know why I didn't pick up, like, two at a time, but I didn't, so... Alright, now excuse me for just one minute as I look up how to find, or how to plant coconut trees, because that's something that we need to do. Hey everybody, and we're back! Alright, so I think I figured out how to plant coconut trees, but I'm not necessarily sure. I saw, I, 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 I just ended up Google, Googling it on, like, Google Images, and it was literally planted, like, way up here, so... Let's see if this grows! I don't necessarily want a coconut tree right there, but... Testing things, yay! There's a mosquito in this acre, and it makes me very angry. Uh... Alright. I hope these grow this time. I guess I'll plant, like, several on the beach coastline, too. Like, on the actual beach. Alright, let's give one to Cleo. But we'll do it on this side. No, I didn't want money. I mean, like, you know, who doesn't want money, right? But I did not want that this time. Hey, Mosquito, you can actually stop. Okay, one frustration that I'm gonna talk about right now that I, like, had with Mosquitoes when I was fishing for Coelacan Sandrea, is the mosquitoes would be in the acres while I was fishing, and they'd get me, like, while my rod was in the water and I was trying to catch the fish, and they would bite me, and then all of a sudden it'd, like, pull my rod out of the water without my consent, and it'd say I got bit, and it'd scare away the fish that was biting on my line. It literally scared away two coelacans for me. I was so ticked off. I can't even believe that happened to this day. Like, that should not be a feature allowed in this game. Because that is really frustrating. Why do mosquitoes even come out in the rain anyway? Because I've never seen a mosquito in the rain. But don't they normally, like, hide at times like that? Do you have anything to that's going on? It's not even dark yet. Isn't she here every Sunday? Copper's so cute. Really? Really? Okay, well, we planted our turnips. What's here? We have a pineapple bed and a bottle rocket. Okay, well, we might as well go test out the bottle rocket because I'm out of ideas. Ooh, Robin, we should talk to you, actually. Because we can't buy trees. Care to chat? Yes. She literally moved here two days ago. I'm so sorry that she has not gotten the time to write you a letter. She has no money to buy paper. But, oh, I'm, I'm like, forgetting everything I did yesterday. I got lots accomplished yesterday, and, like, look, I cleaned out everything. It's all clean and awesome. I'm very proud of myself. But, yeah, let's test out the bottle rocket. Okay. It doesn't do anything. I mean, like, I know he said it didn't light, but I expected it to do something. Oh, well, it's cute. And I also put a bunch of stuff in, like, the letter storage and had it saved in there, which is awesome. <sighs> Let's see if Nook's open now. I mean, you know, I know it's not really any later, but... One day sale, today only. Yeah, it's it's not today only, apparently. I'm gonna go up, uh, I'm gonna go around and dig up fossils, because I've seen four of the cracks in the ground now. And I want to make sure that I have fossils to mail tomorrow. Sound, that sounded like tomato tomato, but... Oh, I also went to Cold Stone Creamery, um, after the movie, and I got cotton candy ice cream with gummy bears in it. It was really good. It smells really good in my house right now. Oh my gosh. Now I'm hungry. I didn't have anything at the movie theater because apparently our town's water supply... Or, well, it's not even our town. It's, like, not our town. It's in a completely different county, but, um... 
it got E. coli in the water supply. That's reassuring. And so Coldstone was shut down when we went the other day, and we were very upset about it. But, like, nothing else was shut down, and we were like, why? What? A modern cabinet, are you serious? We actually got that? But that's all four cracks in the ground that I found, and I don't know where the fourth one is to get the third fossil. Or fifth one, that would be the fifth crack in the ground. I cleared out this acre a lot. Like, now we have a lot more room to actually see things and move. But I didn't do that tree just because of the money rock. And I cut down some trees here. Like, I actually thinned out the town quite a bit, and I'm very happy and proud of myself. And I planted some new trees, places, and... It was overall a good day yesterday. I can't believe I just scared away that. Is that Gabby using our umbrella? Turn around. Yeah, that is Gabby using our umbrella. I literally haven't talked to any of the villagers in a few days, and I feel very bad. Yay, tree growing right there. I'll probably cut that down some way, or someday, just because it bugs me being there, but... Oh well. I really didn't take into account a lot of the trees that were actually here. Like, in this acre, you know, there are only four trees. Five trees, you know, something like that. But then I forgot that there was the bottom on the ledge there, and there was across the river right over there, and the bottom of across the river, and there ended up being like 20 trees in the acre, and so I had to cut a ton of them down just in that acre, and I went through two axes. Oh, look, a snail on Robin's flowers. But yeah, I went through two axes. I went through Drea's axe, and she no longer has an axe because the store was not selling one, and I also um, went through Cyber's spare axe finally, so now we just have the nice new one, except I cut down two trees with that too, um, and I also cut, you know, the third one down today. Where's the final crack in the ground? I wanted to find that. So I guess I am going to spend some time fishing on Animal Crossing tonight, but I'm going to get everything else up first, because I missed some things yesterday because Kira was over, and, like, it was literally to the point where I was working on my recording, and they pulled up, and I had still not taken a shower yet, and I was like, oh, dang. So don't worry, trust me, like, I'm actually working on these things. I promise. But I guess because we're at 19 minutes and I can't find the fourth crack in the ground, these two fossils will just have to do for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!